Ryan Stout is Charles J. That's just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smooth, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do, it's 903 Boxing, I'm your host, Charles J. Um, oh, normally I give a shout out to those that's rocking with me and all that there, and I talk about the sauce and all that there. Uh, we not gonna focus on the sauce, I didn't even heat up the sauce in the pot, um, just a lot of shit I wanna address. Uh, for one, let's, let, let's talk about it. Promoters lie, fighters lie, and most sadly of all, fans lie. Fans lie. Um, yeah, you lie. Um, uh, that's why I put old Espinosa up here. And by the way, I want to make this very clear. I've never done a video about Espinosa. I've done a video about every promoter, even Lou Bella. I've done a video about every promoter except oh, I ain't touched Frank Morton, uh, uh, Frank Warren. I hadn't touched him, but. I'm going to touch Espinosa, but after this, I'm done with promoters. I ain't got much to say about you. Uh, um, y'all put on fights. You do what you do. Um, yeah. I want to talk more about fighters and fans. Um, but, but yeah, I'm going to talk about Espinosa. Um, I think it's most disappointing that, that fans lie. But... Not only that, uh, I, I gotta talk a little shit, you know. I gotta, add, you know, I gotta talk a little shit. For one, um, some of you motherfuckers are weird. Uh, not only some of, you, uh, really, a lot of you motherfuckers. Um, listen, it's a lot of people I don't agree with. It's a lot of people. Listen, it's a channel that I that I said that I that I never listen to, and I don't agree with them, but. I gave him credit for pointing out the fact that Fatback Fury is ducking. It's a channel that is hated on Wilder, his whole channel. But I gave him credit because I said, you know what? I thought you was... And I, I commented on the, on this video. I said, say, bro, I, I might have... I, I, no, I didn't say might have. I said, I misjudged you. I said, I'm a Wilder fan. And um, yeah, I thought you was just a Wilder hater. But now, uh, maybe you really didn't think Fury cheated. And I said, and shout out to you for calling Fury out on ducking. So, yeah, maybe I misjudged you. And I come in and on that. I said, yeah, you, 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 you called it straight down the line. Shout out to you for, for calling it all across the board. The brother never come in. He, he done got, yeah, he done got 100,000 subscribers. That's kind of how it get. Brothers, you know, the more subscribers you get, the more you feel like you elite and shit like that. Um, but anyway, it's another channel. Uh, yeah, Pimpin, I hopped in I hopped in your chat. Uh yeah, motherfucker took my range. Yeah, motherfucker took my range. Uh yeah. Didn't fuck me up, just kinda surprised me a little bit, like, okay. Listen, brother, um not gonna call your name out because I don't do weird shit like that. Um no, nah, but sometimes people name do need to be called out. So I'm not gonna say it's weird. Sometimes people do do need to uh, be called out. But now nah, I ain't gonna call you out, bro. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, you probably a listener Cause, because a, a lot of people that don't like you will listen to you. Yeah, a lot a lot of times it's like that. So, um, yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, you took my rank. Shout out to you. Uh, <laughs> listen. Uh, you ain't gotta worry about me hopping back in your chat, pimping. Uh, I get the message. Uh, I understand you a diehard Tank supporter, and I know a lot of Tank fans are mad at me. Uh, I know I've lost many of followers for shit. I said, listen, I'm gonna lose more followers because I'm not in this thing to buddy up, and I'm not in this thing to be a certain motherfucker. And a lot of you motherfuckers are be whoever you gotta be. I told you, uh, black men are the prostitutes of America. I told you it used to be black women that just say, you got to do what you got to do to get that money, baby. Now, nah, that's what black men say. Yeah, man, do, 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 shit, shit, he getting the bag. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, it's a lot of shit. You you can say, uh, man, what's that rapper, Bandman Kivo, that got liposuction surgery? It's a lot of brothers that are say, man, I don't give a fuck about that. He getting that bag, though. So, 
yeah, but I didn't want to stay on that long. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just something I noticed, and it's just some. It, it's sad, bro. Um, yeah, it'll be a difference if I dissed you or if I fucked with you or I did something to you. And nah, I just called out your fighter. And yeah, you, you, yeah, you snatched my range from me. <laughs> You motherfuckers petty, bro. You mother, you know how petty you gotta be to take a man range just for his opinion. And yeah, that took my range. Yeah, you motherfuckers ain't shit, boy. You motherfuckers ain't shit. But anyway, let me get off that. Oh, nothing I want to address about you, tank motherfuckers. Because I'm gonna tell you some. Uh, tank tank fans are the worst fans. Um, I said Mexicans are the best fans, but they the worst fans. At this point, I think black fans are the worst fans. I think we're the worst fans in boxing because we have the most powerful voice, but we don't realize it. Um, I, and let me tell you something. Wilder still has a huge fan base. Motherfuckers ride with Wilder. But um, Spence, um, I see a lot of two-sided shit. A lot of Spence fans have, have converted to uh, Tank fans. You know, Spence still got a lot of fans. Spence, Spence, Spence a star, but I'm just watching this. I'm watching how I see motherfuckers that used to do nothing but talk about Spence and roll with Spence to the wheels fall off. And a lot of you motherfuckers that y'all don't talk about Spence. Um, yeah. And a lot of you motherfuckers converted to tank because you want to know why. Um, a lot of times us as content creators, we just look for what's hot. We, 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 we take our thoughts out of, we, we scared to say what we really feel. A lot of times we just ride whatever wave that we think going to get the most views. That's what we do. And so a lot of brothers have left Spence and that's why, that's why, like I said, um, and some of the same people that say Bud is ducking and roll with Spence and said Bud was ducking and Bud better not. Bro, let me tell you something. Tank won't even acknowledge Devin. All he say is I got more money than you and you don't sell. Imagine if every time they ask uh Bud about Spence, he don't he ain't shit. I got more money than him. Uh and don't talk about the fight. You motherfuckers demanded that Bud respond and fight Spence. Um Devin and Tank ain't never even winning negotiations. A uh, tank won't acknowledge it, bro. Let me tell you what's fake about boxing. I watch Mark Kriegel, I watch Showtime, I watch Espinosa, I watch all these promoters say, Ryan, Ryan deserves this fight. He shows that if you really want to fight, you can make it happen. He called for it, and he called out Tank until he accepted it. He the only one that done it. Bro, Devin Haney called out Tank aggressive. Devin Haney has called out Tank over 20 times before Ryan ever called him out. Tank didn't acknowledge it, so when you say a fighter can get... He can he can get the fight of his dreams if if you just go for it and you believe in yourself. Devin done it. He didn't get the acknowledgement because you want to know what's fake about fans. It, it becomes a joke when Devin call him out. Oh man, ain't nobody worried about it. You ain't got no power with this and that. You get to talking about what he don't got. And ain't no diss towards Ryan. Ryan eating completely off his plate and nobody got a problem with it. But when it comes to Devin, it's it, it, it it's different energy. It's different energy. He's annoying. Yeah, you motherfuckers are annoyed with Devin Haney. Um, and, you know, so Shakur called out Devin. And this is my thoughts on that. Um, at this point, I want Devin just, Devin and Shakur, go on fight. Because if Tank ain't finna fight neither one of y'all, yeah, go on mix it up. But I see the, I see the play. Um, Motherfuckers finna hold Devin feet to the fire, boy. Boy, if Devin don't respond immediately, you motherfuckers finna do ducking videos and all that. Thir- it's a duck. Why it ain't a duck that Tank won't acknowledge Devin? Why it ain't a duck that Tevin- Tank ain't never said, man, me and Devin a big fight. Me and Devin, that's a hell of a fight. But guess what you say when they ask you about Monster in a way? That's a dream fight. A motherfucker that said 122. A motherfucker that's on at 122 and I ain't never showed you here a huge star. They didn't ask you about cool boy. They didn't ask you because that ain't a dream fight to you. So uh I'm just noticing it. I'm just noticing it. Um Yeah, the energy changes and um it's like we 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 went from Devin the tank to Ness. It's like 
it's almost a Canelo. Uh, it, it reminds me of Canelo fans. Remember when uh, Canelo said, "Y'all just fight each other, and I'll fight the winner." Uh, why you didn't make Ryan fight uh Devin and tell him if you beat Devin, then I'll fight you. You got to beat Shakur, then I'll fight. Ryan didn't have to do shit. Ryan fought Emmanuel Tago and Fortuna before the tank fight. You didn't never give him no stipulations of what he had to do. You bit on it like a hoe in Harlem in the 70s. We ain't going to talk about that, though. We ain't going to talk about that. Like I said, a lot of you motherfuckers switch fighters. You motherfuckers switch fighters. <laughs> you motherfuckers switch fighters, bro. I'm watching you motherfuckers. And at this point, um, let me say this about Espinosa, though. Espinosa, I, I, I peeped a lot of things about you, bro. Um, you, 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 you adding fuel to these a lot of these delusional ass fans. When they ask you about Spence and Crow, when they ask you about Ryan and Tank, your eyes get bucked like a fucking fiend, like a like a fiend. Um, when they ask you about Spencer Crawford, boy, you look exhausted, like you just took a twelve-hour flight. Oh my God, I just don't. Oh yeah, but don't get your hopes up because it may not happen. We was this far last time and it didn't happen. It's like you you want to you want to push the narrative that we are so tired of Spence versus Crawford. You know what, fans? If you motherfuckers was really stand up and you stood for anything in life, you'd be tired of a lot of shit. A lot of you motherfuckers, a lot of you motherfuckers need to be tired of a lot of shit. You need to be tired of your boss on the job kicking your ass and that lead man is staying on your ass. It's a lot of shit. You motherfuckers need to get tired of your woman creeping out on you and you know she fucking uh goddamn Earl. And yeah, so it's a lot of shit you motherfuckers need to be tired of. Uh, Fury Duck and Oost, it's a lot of shit. Better be even Bibble still ain't happening. It's a lot of shit we should be tired of in boxing and in life. So don't act like you motherfuckers are so fed up with Spence versus Crawford. So, um, I'm going to tell you what else Espinosa said. Espinosa said, Keith Thurman and, uh, early, I, I, this, 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 how, this how disgusting boxing is. Espinosa just said what I've been telling you, motherfucker. Remember Tim Smith, the speaker for, um, uh, PBC came out and said, uh, Bud and Spence won't, uh, we don't know what the numbers like. And ever since then, fans and content creators have said this is not a big fight. It, it wasn't until PBC said it ain't. So, but you know what PBC ain't never said? They ain't never said uh, Earl Spence versus Keith Thurman. We don't know what the numbers going to do. Steven Espinosa said Earl uh, versus Keith Thurman is just as big of a fight as Spence versus Crawford. Bro, you want dope and dog food. Keith Thurman is a very good fight. Bro, boxing want to see Spence versus Crawford. Boxing ain't, listen, Spence versus Keith will sell because Keith, Keith sells and, and it, yeah, it's going to sell. And it's, you can't compare Keith Thurman to no fucking uh, Terrence Crawford. I'm tired of the fucking disrespect. The way, the way a lot of you motherfuckers have disrespected Crawford. A lot of you motherfuckers really like Crawford. A lot of you motherfuckers deep in your heart. Deep in my heart. You motherfuckers really love Crawford. You just want to push a nerd. And a lot of you motherfuckers just, you, you just want to hop on a bandwagon. So... I stand on my thoughts and what I think. Like I said, that's why I told you, I'm so glad I'm not a blood no more. Because I don't got no, no motherfucker speak, ain't no speaker, uh, none of that shit. I'm the speaker, I'm the president, I'm the chief. Yeah, I'm the HNIC over here at 903 Boxing. And I say what I want. My, my thoughts are not led by no motherfucker's opinion. Uh, this is strictly just what I think. So, I think fans are the fakest. Black fans in particular. Black fans are the pro you know, just bro, it, it it just ain't enough bananas in the world to feed you motherfuckers. I'm gonna tell you, it, it just ain't enough bananas. You know, I was looking at the Rangatain versus the Silverback last night. Yeah, and I was looking at their strengths and weaknesses and shit like that. And I as I watched that Rangatain swing from that goddamn tree with that banana in his mouth, uh them motherfuckers got way more sense than a lot of you motherfuckers out here. They got, they got way more sense and unity and togetherness than a lot of you baboons out here. And I just got to point that shit out because let me, t hold on, let me point this out. I'm so glad I remember this. When Fundora beat L Lubin and Lubin showed heart and fought a hell of a fight. He just fought the wrong style. But anyway, that shit was viral. Lubin's face and him being swole up and all that shit, that shit was viral. Let me tell you something. Uh, Fundora getting knocked out last night was way more epic than that shit with Loop. Man, that motherfucker was out on his feet. That's arguably the knockout of the year. That shit ain't gonna go viral. 
That shit is not going to vibe. They're they not going to make no meme about Fondora. They made a meme about Lubin. Many black countries. We made memes about Lubin. Lubin's face is vibe. Everybody know that how his face was swollen and shit. And that shit was fucked up. Because he did look like Martin after he fought Tommy Hearn. Remember that episode? But anyway, um, we ain't going to make no memes about Fondora. It ain't going to be no memes. And that was a hell of a knockout. But I just wanted to point that out. Like, um, Shakur, I'm watching this, bro. They didn't. They convinced you to be a Puerto Rican. Uh, they, Sh Shakur, I'm not saying it like you're young, so you're easily led, bro. It's motherfuckers that become Bloods and Crips at 24 and 23. So I can understand how I can be easily led. Shakur always said, "I'm gonna fight Devin on down the line." Shakira is saying I'll fight him right now because Mark Creek, when they hand him the mic, they only asked about this. They didn't ask about no other fighter. No other fighter. So it's like, I don't know. I guess mainstream, instead of, you know, when Devin keep calling out Tank, they just, okay, we'll go fight Shakira. Don't send me to somebody else when I keep calling. It's just the, <coughs> the contradiction. Nobody told when Fundura were calling out Jamil, they were saying Jamil scared of him. Jamil better fight him. Um, they never told Jamil uh Fundora, nah bro, you gotta you gotta beat Tony Harrison first. You gotta beat this dude first. You gotta beat Tim Zoo first. You gotta earn your way to fight Jamil because Jamil is in a position where motherfuckers really need to earn their way. Because he earned his. But nah, Tim Zoo ain't done shit to earn no shot against uh Jamil when we talk truthfully. So it's a lot of fighters that get shots that don't deserve shit, bro. You know, I didn't let this shit ride even though it's some of the fakest shit in box. I didn't let it ride even though Ryan haven't done shit for this tank fight to y'all to try to say this. And you and, and it's amazing. You motherfuckers keep bringing up Instagram followers, but that shit is never translated to boxing, bro. If it was, he would have been on pay per view. He would have been selling. So you, you you can't you can't do that, bro. It's just that he called out Tank and Tank responded and it made his name hot. Simple that. Sim simple, simple facts. So, um, at this point, bro, I I just want to see all of them fight. Um, it ain't so much about Devin versus Tank because I don't want to make this no thing because I know how you know I know how motherfuckers think. I want to see all of them fight. I want to see Frank Morton fight uh Devin Haney. I want to see Frank fight Shakur. I want to see them fights. So. Uh, I like Tank. I like Shakur. I like Devin. I like Frank. I like all these fights. But I'm, I, listen, it, it, it ain't even no favoritism with me. I just want to see them fight. And I just know this energy is different. And motherfuckers act like Devin is so annoying when he call out Tank. Why wasn't Ryan annoying? Why y'all didn't treat him like a bug or an ant on a wild, like a fly or something? Tank didn't treat him like that. Tank ain't never said Ryan don't sell. Tank won't say I'm a bigger star than you. He only see that when he look at another black man. Tank quick to tell another black man, you ain't shit. You don't sell. You don't have a following. And dumbass fans don't realize when you tell Devin Haney he don't sell, he don't follow, you telling him black fans ain't shit. You motherfuckers are just monkey. I'm telling you, uh, black men want to be pimped. I'm telling a lot of you motherfuckers, your, women, your woman finna start pimping you. And she gonna bring another man in the house. A lot of you motherfuckers are built like that. A lot of you motherfuckers will let your woman bring another man in the house and slap you across your motherfucking mouth and make you wash the dishes and cook while you back there fucking your woman. A lot of you motherfuckers is built like, without that pistol, a motherfucker walk in your house and slap you in your mouth in front of your woman. So, like I said, uh, once again to the brother that snatched my ranch and... Yeah, now all of a sudden, uh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, and motherfuckers saying, what's up, 903, when I come in the chat, but you want to act like you don't see. Say, bro, listen, it ain't nothing against you. You can keep rolling with Tank and keep getting offended, and, and I hope you watch this shit and watch some more shit, because of the one thing about a lot of you motherfuckers, you motherfuckers are, uh, 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 are very similar to women. You know, um, you like that girl in school that pick on you, but she really like you. Yeah, they throw a little paper at your head, but she really like, a lot of you motherfuckers are like that. But anyway, um, promoters lie, fighters lie, fans lie. And like I said, a lot of you motherfuckers that act like you roll with spend so hard and call and, and made Bud better respond. Let me, let me tell you something. That's why Spence a real one. 
Spence could have did what Tank did to Devin. Spence could have told Crawford, I sell more than you, bro. I don't even need to fight you. I can fight Keith. I can fight Danny. I don't need you. I don't even need. I, I, don't even ask me about blood. Spence could have done that bougie ass shit. That, that's all I want from Tank. Be, be just as much of a dog as Spence was when they asked him about Bud. Spence ain't never said Bud ain't the shit. Spence said Bud is the shit. That motherfucker pound for pound, he great. And that's a tough fight. You motherfuckers are different. You you just don't want no shine on the Devin Haney fight because you act like he trying to eat off your plate, but you don't see it when 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 it's another fighter that ain't black. Yeah, you don't think you don't think Monster anyway but would be eating off your plate. You say that's a dream fight. You don't see that Ryan eating off your plate, bro. He ain't never made over two million dollars. Ryan ain't never made over two million dollars, and that motherfucker may make fifteen to twenty million fighting you. He ain't never made over two million dollars. He ain't never made more than Devin Haney. So when you talk this shit about money, you motherfuckers need to uh, get your get your uh, documents together, read some shit. That's a that's a problem with a lot of you motherfuckers. A lot of you if you ever want to hide something from a monkey, put it in a book. A lot of you motherfuckers need to read. A lot of you motherfuckers need to go back and get your GD and read and study and figure out some shit and learn who the fuck you are and learn to be proud of who you are and learn that it was people before you that was far greater than you. Because me personally, I think this is the worst group of black. We are the worst group of black folks that has ever existed. Uh, because we don't love one another. Now, nah, throughout history, we've always loved one another. And we knew how to stick together. Nah, we don't love one another. We don't love one another. And we don't, we don't ride together. We don't ride together. We ride a fighter in a group against another black group. That's all we know. That's all we know. Um, mo I, our enemy is each other. That's the only enemy we see. And that's the only enemy we willing to fight. Yeah, that's the only enemy we see. And that's the only enemy we willing to fight. So a lot of you motherfuckers just, you know, <laughs> you get lost in the sauce. And a lot of you motherfuckers ain't lost. You just don't have the heart to speak out. A lot of you motherfuckers just don't have the heart. A lot of you motherfuckers scared you're going to lose a homeboy. A lot of you motherfuckers going to scared people going to quit fucking with you just for speaking the truth. Well, I will constantly speak the truth, and I don't care who I, what followers I lose. I don't give a fuck. Because I got to be honest, I, I kind of, even though it gets very frustrating, at times I enjoy this. Because sometimes I got to get a little frustration off my goddamn chest and speak my thoughts. And, 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 and keep a little sauce in the air because sometimes we need a little sauce in our life and we need to hear the truth. And whether it's good or not Or whether it's about your favorite fight or not So yeah, I didn't win a long time on this shit It's just disgusting It's just disgusting It's just disgusting Boxing demands that Bud fight Spence So he a duck Boxing won't demand Tank to fight Devin For undisputed Yeah, but he's clout chasing He's clout chasing you Ryan and clout chase you Monster anyway, anytime a fighter ain't black He ain't clout chasing you that shit is disgusting to me, bro. That shit is so disgusting to me. And like I said, black fighters are in a position where, it, they, you know, they only want one black star at a time. And black, you don't want no other star but you. But truth be told, bro, it's it's, it's other black star because, man, let me tell you something. Um, this would be the only fight where you sell more than Spence. And that's because of the media. That's what, because of the platforms they put this fight on. You weren't selling more than Spence or or Wilder. So when you act, when we talk this shit, a lot of people saying that Tank is the face of Bob. Tank ain't bigger than Wilder or Spence. So it's a lot of shit. That, that's why I said a lot of people love Spence and really quit talking about Spence. And now y'all on this Tank shit because it's a hot topic. So, and when Tank ain't a hot topic, you'll jump on the next hot topic. So a lot of you motherfuckers are disloyal. And this is why I understand why promoters pimp you motherfuckers. A lot of you motherfuckers need to be pimped. So, yeah, this is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.